In today's video, we have four different gloves with four different break-ins, plus a fifth one is a bonus what not to do. I was pleasantly surprised at how much we learned from each of these gloves. For example, we microwaved two different gloves and got two different outcomes. With that being said, we need to get into it. Hello. So today we have a bunch of Marucci gloves, not sponsored or anything, they just happen to be Marucci's because they're actually all the same pattern, which makes this helpful because there's some consistency there. This means they're different sizes, yes, different colors, same pattern though. That's a good start. Let's be clear, this is my break-in. I love this thing so far. It's definitely not done yet, but we need to take these three, figure out how to split them up. I'm gonna use my niece. Which one should go in the microwave? Let's actually talk about the methods. As we know, this one's mine. We'll talk about it later. This one here is gonna be shaving cream plus a bed mattress. There's no other kind of mattress. I don't know why I would say that. This one here is gonna be conditioner, then a microwave. And then this one here is gonna be broken in by not me. I'm bringing this to like a sports store to have them break it. I'm not gonna say because I work with a different company. Honestly, I think I'm like most nervous about this one. It feels weird to have someone else break their glove in because it's like my passion. Plus, I think they're gonna use a steamer, which is known for being terrible for the leather. We'll see if I can even tell. Anyway, for now, Walmart. What gloves are gonna be the fifth now? Oh yeah. Josh just reminded me about the fifth method. This is the what not to do. Please stay tuned because I think this will literally fall in half. That's gonna be last. We are starting a new series where we are exposing baseball myths and methods. Today, we're doing baseball glove break-ins. This is super easy for me because it's been my wheelhouse. Now, there are great methods out there, but there's also ones that are really bad. Today, we hope to expose the bad ones and highlight the good ones. Dude, sometimes I'm just so Dude, good. Give me why can you trust me? Because I've done anything and everything you can imagine two-way baseball glove in- No. <laughs> you know what I meant! Alright, that sounded weird, but this is what I meant. So, we're about to shoot my glove with the Desert Eagle. Make sure you're inhaling it. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm a stinky boy, so I need deodorant. But I wanted to say, we're gonna be doing different training equipment as well. Like, this is literally a baseball training tool. It's a dog toy and a bat put in one that makes no sense maybe it's good though i don't know so many people in the aisle we need what the i only see gel kind but oh there it is sponsored by barbasol do you want like a coffee drink that sounds so delicious so delicious you want soda no why'd you say so delicious look at that your boy made a wallet it's actually really bad it's my first attempt don't put that in the video i also saw that you're supposed to be using like the foaming normal white shaving cream not the gel kind so for the shaving cream break-in it's actually really simple we need Foam shaving cream, two or maybe just one baseball, and then something to wrap the glove with. This is a like actual glove wrap, so that's kind of useful, but you could use like a sock. I've seen people do shoestrings, but like a sock would be nice because it's not gonna put any like lines in the leather. A shoestring would. Just appreciate that really quick. It's called like the blueprint or something like that. Cool glove. Everything I've seen basically says be pretty uh, friendly with the shaving cream. Okay, that was a ton. This is actually extremely common. A ton, a ton, a ton of people do this. I did want to specify, you can use anything that's going to soften it up. Shaving cream is just so common that I'm going to use shaving cream, but like Vaseline, glove oil, ball player's balm, anything that will soften the leather is the idea. Uh, so like I said, shaving cream is just super common. So here we are. All we have to do is put the ball in the pocket, wrap it, and then I'm actually going to set it under something somewhat heavy that won't like damage it. One comment, when you are wrapping it, try to wrap it the way you want it to close. So right now it's going like thumb to pinky. Honestly, I don't really want that. I want this to go higher up. So try to manipulate it. So what I was trying to say, you should know how you want the glove to close before you just like shove it under a mattress. Also, the website's gonna be 15% off if you use code BGK15. Get yourself a hat, windbreaker, do whatever you want. There's a squirrel on my chair. Just to make this simpler, let's just lay out the like order of what you're supposed to do over here. This is the method for shaving cream. Let's move on. We are at the sports store. They're gonna be breaking this in for us. Let's do it. I have a question. Yeah. Do you guys do glove break-ins? Not at this one. Do you know of a location that does? I would call and confirm if Schomburg does. Okay. Or Lombard or Geneva, any of the two. I can just call them. Yeah, we'll find out. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Yep, have a good one. You too. Dude, these were the junk ball bats, yeah. Wait, junk ball. Sponsor my videos because I absolutely love your bats. Way cooler than Blitz Ball. That'd be so sick. That was like my childhood. I wonder, what do you think? Should we try to go to, like, we can call ahead and try going to Schaumburg, or we just go to. 
I'm pretty sure, yeah. Hello? Hey, I was wondering if you could uh, break a glove in for me. Yeah, what, what kind of glove you got? It is a Marucci. If you don't mind asking, what... Uh, it's the Capital Series. How old is uh, the player? Uh, like 16. Um, how quickly do you need it done? Can I get it back by Thursday? Today is Tuesday. Yeah, if you can get it in today, we can get it done by Thursday. Okay, that'll work. Uh, I appreciate you, man. Sounds like you know what you're doing. I like that. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. All right, I actually really appreciate that. It's funny to hear someone talk. Like he, he knows what he's doing. Here's what I will say. I have a feeling going to a place, the smaller the sports store, for most likely the higher quality the break-in is going to be. Uh, if we did go to a Dick's, oh, if we went somewhere like Dick's or Shields or any like major place, it's most likely like a high school kid breaking in your glove. Therefore, they don't know what they're doing. Anyway, so far I'm pretty optimistic about this. This should be pretty good. We made it to our new store. Let's get it. I have no idea if they'll use a steamer here. He didn't mention it on the phone, so maybe not. Need a glove break in. He's over there. He's over there, thank you. Is this a glove? Yeah, this is it. Thursday, you said? Yeah, Thursday. Um, anything and everything you can do to it? Yeah, I'll condition it up a little bit and then break it in and get back on Thursday. Okay. Do you guys have a steamer here or do you not we use don't. those? I don't like the steamer. We're looking at like 50 for it in two days. Is that okay? Yeah. Cool. 50, you said? Yeah, give me uh. Go up front and give them your name and number. Sounds good, man. That way. I Appreciate it. Bogloveking.com. Oh, wait, I said the wrong thing. Bogloveking.com merch. <laughs> yeah, you'll end, it'll end up on YouTube. Okay, can I write down my phone number for you guys? Thursday? Yeah. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Thank you, guys. That's good news. So, for those who don't know, steaming a glove is not good. I am kind of disappointed, though, because I really wanted to see a steamed glove in this video. Part of me wants to like make that happen. Maybe we'll steam a glove ourselves. Welcome back to Chef Boyardee. <laughs> this has only been in there for. The video is gonna be so dumb. <laughs> wow. This probably won't be in the video. Right now, I'm trying to do like a homemade glove steamer. I don't think it's working at all. I will say the last glove, the like what not to do, my car's not on. I tried driving. <laughs> the what not to do is going to be really fun. It, it's going to, I think, literally kill the glove. So anyway, on to the next one. A couple of baseballs. That's just garbage. <laughs> oh, we got two baseballs. I mean, they're really crappy, but we do need two crappy baseballs for what we're going to do right now. <laughs> like a, never mind. It's the next day. We are doing the BGK break-in. So we have a ball, a mallet. You could use like a five pound weight or maybe even a softball. You need just something to hit the glove with. This is actually pretty simple. So listen in. My voice is kind of gone because we were at a basketball game last night, but I'm giving you a not so in-depth version of our break-in. You can watch my full video after this one. We're gonna start off by using our mallet. So you're literally just smashing the glove like this. I would say start off with the heel because it's just all really thick in here. But our main thing we're trying to accomplish is find our hinge points. So your thumb has a hinge and then your pinky side has a hinge. They close together. You wanna to find the hinges and then loosen them up with the mallet. It's really straightforward. Once you do enough hitting to be able to close the glove, we wanna do the hot water treatment. You can skip this step and just hit it more. I love the hot water treatment because it molds to your hand. It's beautiful, it's amazing. If you have a custom glove with a bunch of colors on it, probably just don't do the hot water treatment, but I'm gonna. Just so you guys know, I typically do not put anything on the leather uh, beforehand. So hot water treatment before you put any conditioner or anything on it, but I do condition it after once it's 110% dry. All right, go ahead, start mashing it even more while it's wet. Again, hinges, but you can just hit really the entire glove. Also hitting up here is kind of helpful too. Loosen up your web a little, but just go ham for a little bit guys. Here's a pro tip. So play catch while the glove is wet, but make sure your partner's not throwing hard. You need gentle throws to make sure you're catching it perfectly in the pocket. If you throw hard, you're gonna stretch out the laces. It's just gonna end up being an ugly, weird, goofy looking glove. Gentle catch, focus on the pocket, and then letting it dry is huge. You need to set this thing down exactly how you want it shaped. So if you wanna have this crazy big flare, do it. Flare it and then set it down and let it dry exactly how you want it to. It makes a huge difference with shaping the glove. Even put your hand in here, kind of push into it, 
make sure it's molded to your hand perfect. And then you can just like come back a day later and it'll be good to go. Today is our final day of these glove break-ins. Every single one of these has the same final step, which is play catch. Now, this is now dry. This is my break-in. One thing I wanna show you is this. Once it's dry, it stiffens up. So you just wanna hit it again a little bit everywhere. It doesn't really matter. All you're doing is loosening it up. Like right there, that might've been enough. And then on top of it though, the gloves like actually dry. The leather is dry. It doesn't feel as nice as it did before. So I'm gonna be using Ball Players Balm new light conditioner. This stuff is for like lighter colored gloves, like tan and blonde and whatnot. You can use like a little cloth or something, but I'm just gonna be using my fingers. Right now, I'm just doing the palm. I'll get the back of the glove later. It takes a little bit more time and effort. I just don't wanna do that right now. The whole point of this stuff is it doesn't really change the color of the leather. That's why you'd wanna use it on lighter leather. We need to go get the glove from Play It Against Sports. Let's do that. At Play It Against Sports, just picked this up. Uh, this is kind of the break-in. It doesn't feel as one hinge. It feels like you went two in the pinky, but we'll break it apart a little. That didn't make any sense. I don't know. I'll see you later. I just grabbed our bed glove. It was under there for like 40 hours. It looks pretty gross, I'm not gonna lie. I am extremely curious about this break-in because I've honestly never done it. There's a video on YouTube that I'm kind of basing this all on, and it actually has 351,000 views, which means there's 351,000 potential people who did this. Hopefully it's not the worst thing in the world for your glove, but I don't really have high hopes. Step one is actually super simple. You're gonna coat the palm in some kind of an oil, a conditioner, a lubricant, like Vaseline, but I'm using this stuff. Let's get it. I'm gonna be pretty friendly with this. Normally I go pretty light. Not today. Oh yeah, that looks good. Now, just to be clear, he did do just the palm in the video. So we're gonna follow his directions. Only do the palm. And then I'll show you in a second what the trash bag is for. Take a look. I was serious when I said I'm coating this thing. Like look up in the laces. Look at all that gunk. So trash bag. I almost forgot. So just like this here, we need to put balls in the pocket and then wrap the glove. I actually need to find something to do that with. I don't want to take that out yet. So I don't want to use that. Ruh -ruh. Okay. I have these like wrist strap things. I'm just going to use this. Typically you either want to use one baseball or two. I want to do one because I don't want to have like an overly large, overly pronounced pocket. This is a stiff glove. So I really, I do want to wrap this pretty tight. I'm going to try to, you know, be conscious of where we wrap this. We don't want it to be random. You know, I want to think about how I want the glove to close. Okay. Glove is going in the trash bag. One thing we're doing here, we're keeping all the moisture in the trash bag by putting it in here. It's not going to escape or anything. It also potentially will protect it from something from the microwave. I really don't think so. But keeping the moisture in does make sense. So we're microwaving the trash bag? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't melt? No, I don't think so. Really? God did it in the video. So if our, if our trash bag melts, <laughs> well, that'll suck. Yeah. Actually, I really didn't think about that. Yeah, like you would think the trash bag would melt. This might be a disaster. Let's go. One of the reasons we did this last is we want to pull this out of the microwave and within the first like, you know, four or five minutes, actually go play catch with it while it's warm. They specifically said, make sure it's hot not warm, like hot out of the microwave. So let's go. <laughs> Did you see all the stuff that flew off of it? I'm gonna have to pick that up. Wow, that like barely fits. The video said two minutes, so we're gonna listen. It's like a microwave, so you have to like move to actually see. The guy who originally made this video had the comments turned off. So I think that probably means there's a ton of people saying like, don't do this. Also, he told a story in the video about how one of his friends put the glove in the microwave for too long and the laces literally disintegrated and fell apart. And in the same story, he laughed and said, but it didn't hurt the leather. And it's just hilarious because the laces are leather. So that don't make sense. It is 13 years old. I feel like we've come a long way. 13 years ago, I was, how old was I? I don't know, how old are you now? 20, gonna be 25. So 13 years ago, I was 14. Wait. No. <laughs> it's done. I can't keep my hand on it like it's that hot. So I feel like that's a fair sign that it was in long enough. I can touch the trash bag, but not like the actual glove. <laughs> it's just those look so funny next to each other. Zach, throw me that glove. <laughs> Thank you. Everything needs to be played catch with now, right? But just observe. Look at these bad boys. 
<laughs> the ones in the trash bag. Son of a beep. Oh, it smells, oh gosh, that smells so bad. <laughs> Got a whiff of it and oh. it just smells kind of terrible. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> okay, wow, I mean, you can really tell that like it definitely affected that glove because it was not shaped like that before the microwave. I've been waiting to do this. This has been wrapped for days. Holy night, dude. It looks like, like spider webs. Do you think I can just like put it in here and just kind of like, yeah. That got most of it. All right, now it's just kind of dusty. <laughs> I'm so excited to like put my hand in these things. We're going two in the pinky with all gloves. Just notice it like that is way more broken in than I was expecting. There's a close. It's not a good one, but like, I can close the glove way easier than I did. This was a glove that was actually broken in by a human being, not me. The problem is, is this is the break in. You can see there's this like crease line that he used. My problem is that he didn't ask me, do you wear it two in the pinky traditional? How do you close the glove? He didn't ask me anything like that. All he did was ask, you know, how old is the person gonna be using it? I said, what, 16? He did understand a little bit though. He said, I'm not gonna steam it. He said, I'm only gonna break it into the point of like playing catch and then whoever's gonna use it, they need to finish the break in. I agree with him, that's, that's true. I'm afraid to put my hand in this. Now, this one looks kind of wild. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, again, that's so funny. There's a, there's a very noticeable difference for like, this was the stiffest glove overall and now it can close somewhat easily. We need to go play catch, oh my gosh. And then this is my break in. Again, two in the pinky. Unreal. 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 Time to play catch. I'm going microwave glove first because it's still warm. And from my understanding, you want to play catch while it's still warm. I'm pleasantly surprised by the microwave break-in. There's no part of me that will defend it. Like it is bad for your leather, so don't do it. But uh, I didn't think it would I'd change the way it feels as much as it did. With that being said, if you don't put conditioner on it, it doesn't work. Don't just microwave your glove with nothing on it. I'm kind of excited for this. I've always wanted to know what would really happen if we just stick a glove in the microwave. I've seen a video where a guy said it literally fell apart. So I just kind of want to show you as an example. I'm able to pull as hard as I can on these laces. Nothing happens. They just hold their ground. <laughs> it just looks so funny. <laughs> Five minutes. I don't, I really don't know what to do, but I have a feeling that's not a good sign. Yeah, you can actually smell the glove now. Oh my gosh, it's getting pungent. It's hurting my lungs. I think that's yeah, toxic. Is it going to be warm? Yeah, do you think it's going to be warm? No. Wait. That's a, I don't think so. Yes. Yes? No. I think it'll be like, <laughs> oh, it's slightly warm, not like hot. It's borderline hot. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Did you burn it? Is it on fire? Whoa. <laughs> it kind of is on fire. Do you see it smoking? Yeah. <laughs> okay, ready? Hey, they didn't break. Ow, okay, the inside's hot. Ow. Okay, so it is hot, okay? <laughs> I'm genuinely a little impressed that the laces didn't fall apart after five minutes. I thought they would be like super brittle. The laces actually feel borderline fine. I'm really curious why this decided to burn up though. It's like some thread just decided to catch on. That hurt my fingers so. <laughs> but uh, in conclusion, I think microwaving a glove is bad. Your, your glove just shouldn't go in the microwave. Let's leave it at that. Yeah, I was done. All right, here's something I'm realizing. Let me take a few with our shaving cream glove and then I'm gonna make a point. <laughs> Did you see? Get a, get a close up of this next catch. Can you see the like, the shaving cream flakes come off like every catch. It's like. So both of the gloves that we wrapped have the same problem. And it's that when you wrap a glove, it just collapses the heel in awkward ways. A lot of you guys out there, if you want two hinges here and here, you want this to remain stiff. But what happens is when you wrap it, like this is how it was sitting. So the glove closes, I don't know, kind of like a little league glove. 
if that makes sense. The heel is actually, oh goodness. The heel, okay, <laughs> I don't even have to say anything. Look at the heel. It's, it's, this is just how the glove is shaped after microwaving it and whatnot with it being wrapped. I don't like wrapping your glove for this exact reason. There's a lot of products out there and like stuff like that. Like, oh, you should always wrap your glove after every game. This is what your glove will look like if you do that. I personally do not like it, not a fan. That's like an immediate, easy takeaway. Long term, you're ruining the leather by putting it in the microwave, for example. So that's not good. This isn't even all that bad. If you know that's how you like your glove to close, you want that like U shape in the heel. I guess it's not that bad. The bed method isn't that bad. This honestly feels like a lot of you guys out there, if I see you guys like in public and you show me your glove, like this is often what it feels like. It has a little bit of like a collapsed feel, kind of like as if it was shoved in a bag a lot, but like the rest of the glove isn't all that bad. It's just that keel that feels a little bit messed up. Yeah, I mean, it's a solid glove. Like that's not that bad. I haven't started playing catch with it yet, but this is our glove that has that one fat hinge. Some of you might like that, but with this pattern, I think it feels really, really bad so far. Like there's not, like just look at the way I'm holding the ball. Icky caca. So like that's how he broke the glove into clothes. This is how I'm supposed to be wearing it. That's one of the main problems. If you ever go to someone to break your glove in for you, if they don't ask you, how do you close it? How do you wear it? Just don't let them do it because they don't, they're not asking the right questions. They're not going to do it right. 50 bucks, 50 bucks for this break in. <laughs> it's not the worst thing in the world. It's just, he should have asked a, a few more questions and then it would have, uh, just I and the glove would have benefited more. There's no need to like roast the guy. <laughs> it just wasn't perfect. So I can like force the glove to close in a way that I want it to. And that ain't too bad. I mean, that's like, Perfect pocket right there. I want you guys to see like a up close shot of just like the ugly break in. So let's get a good one. <laughs> see, it doesn't look that bad here. But then you turn it here and it's just like so exposed. Like I was saying, there's this crease right here that he broke in. And that's kind of like how the glove wants to close now. So I have to kind of force my thumb over and just close it even. Let's go one more, forcing it closed even. Look at that. See the difference? Beautiful. So it's not the worst thing in the world. You're just gonna have to do a little bit of extra work to break it in to your personal like preference and whatnot. I personally just think you guys should be breaking your glove in. Learn how to do it. Watch my videos. It's not that hard. The thing is, is that there's really no true shortcut. Let's actually switch over to my glove. I'm gonna toot my own horn a little bit. I think we did a really good job. Very even close if you wanted to. We could have broken it in with just like one hinge up, but it's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go two hinges. Gosh, that's just gorgeous. Me likey. I need your honest opinion. I don't know, just give comments on each one and then like, what are you gonna take away? <laughs> this is the one he broke in, right? Yeah. I would have said it's not totally broken in. This one's definitely better. The one you did. <laughs> have you even felt that one yet? No, the last time I touched it, it was like... Unmicrowaved? Yeah. It looks bang. Bang. <laughs> All right, so if you had to walk away with one today. This guy. It, mainly because it feels better than this one, but mostly because it looks too. Yeah. Looks help. Here's a big thing. Out of all the gloves, the one that took the most time was the one I broke in. And that's kind of the thing. There's no real shortcut. If you want a good glove to last a long time, you just got to hit it at first a little bit with a mallet, shake it around with your hands, do whatever you can. Once you can like close it a little bit, just go play catch. With all that being said, you guys need to go check out how to actually do my break in the full length video. It'll be helpful, especially for any of you guys getting a glove for Christmas. I know it's coming up. Go watch.